Hello people of the internet, it's me, Kayla Marie. So if you don't know me at all, if you don't follow me at all, if you've never watched any of my videos, if you don't follow me on social media, which you should go do that, link in the description below. But basically, if you don't know who I am, you do not know that I am literally obsessed with Ariana Grande. She is the absolute love of my life. She is my queen. She is the reason I'm alive. She is just amazing. She's perfect. She's the love of my life. She's my wife. We will be married someday. No, just kidding. But obviously now you know that I am just a teeny bit obsessed with Ariana Grande. And I wanted to do a video based around her. I was gonna do recreating Ariana Grande's most liked, most famous Instagram pictures. But I wanted to take it a step bigger, you know, take it above the level a little bit because, you know, she is the absolute love of my life, so why would I do anything less for her? So, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail of this video, I am going to be recreating Ariana Grande's album art covers. I think it's the way you say it. So the first step to recreating Queen Ariana's album covers is obviously makeup. Her makeup look isn't that extravagant. She doesn't wear a whole lot of makeup. She is not very cakey at all. So it was pretty much just my everyday makeup, but I had to change a little bit of stuff. She does wear brown eyeshadow in her crease, and then she also sometimes puts uh, like glitter eyeshadow on her lid. But I just did the brown eyeshadow in the crease just to make it look a little bit more natural. And then, of course, her signature cat eye, which I only did for one look because I'm dumb and forgot to put on eyeliner until the last look. She's also like three times tanner than I am because she's Italian. So uh, what I did is I put contour and what's the other one? What's that thing? What? I don't know. Bronzer. Bronzer. That's what it is. I bronzed my face up a little bit with some contour. Her eyebrows are kind of just like straight across her face. Like she doesn't really do like an arch or anything. And I always do an arch with my eyebrows. So I just made my eyebrows a little bit straight. Tried to do that as best as possible. And they actually turned out pretty well. So that was pretty much the first step. After that, I went and picked up my friend to take the pictures so the first album that we did was sweetener which is her it's her fourth album but we did that look first because she doesn't have her high pony for this album cover she just has it in the low pony so what i did for this look is i actually just put on this tank top that i am wearing right now and then i kind of parted my hair a lot more to my left side and then just put it in a low pony and then we just kind of took the picture on like the background was just kind of just like a tan brick wall i guess you could say i'm gonna rate this like a four out of ten only because i am not like facing directly onto like the camera or my iPhone that I took it on and she is kind of angled a little bit more on like actually on the camera so that I didn't like also the shadow that's on my face I that bothers me so much and I'm not the greatest at editing so I didn't really know how to edit the shadow out but I feel like everything looks pretty much good the hair looks pretty good the makeup looks pretty good also it was so freaking hot that day guys it was literally like i think a hundred degrees that day and while we were taking this picture the freaking sun was beating down on me your paws are so loud they're so loud you want the ball you want the ball you want the ball ready one two three go get it 
pulled and she just ran into the wall. <laughs> what? You are so needy. The next picture that we took was the Dangerous Woman album. I believe this was her third album. And so for my outfit, I believe I did. So there wasn't really much to the outfit. I think I just wore the same top, but then hit the straps because you can't really see a shirt in the album cover. So I just kind of hit the straps. And then I had a like a fishnet glove on my right hand. And then I had a uh, choker that I got from Claire's last year for Halloween. I put that on and then I couldn't find like a latex bunny mask anywhere. I literally tried Party City. I tried this like Halloween costume vintage store and they didn't have anything like it. They did have these like lacy bunny ears which I thought looked really really well and I thought kind of fit the theme of the album art cover so I got those and then we went to party city. I just got like a little masquerade mask that I thought kind of matched with the ears so that was pretty much that and then I did put in the high pony as well for that one because she just had that so for this one I'm gonna rate this one probably maybe like a 3.5 just because just like the editing wasn't good again because I can't really edit it's honestly not the best but I did my best so that's all that counts so the next album cover we did was my everything and I actually really like how this one turned out this one actually looks pretty similar to the actual album cover for my outfit all I had was just a black crop top then I just wore like black plain black shorts and then I didn't have any white heels or any heels at all because I don't wear heels so I just wore my white tennis shoes that I literally wear every single day but I'm gonna rate this one probably honestly I'd probably rate this one like an eight the next album we did was yours truly which is her first album and I'm honestly pretty surprised how this turned out. I do really like uh, how this one turned out. For the outfit, I just wore this black kind of off the shoulder shirt. The positioning of this photo was a little weird because she's like angled, like her arms are like this and she's like angled up. The one big thing we didn't really get on this album is the light that's beaming down on her. And we tried our best to incorporate that as much as possible but it didn't really turn out as well as we thought it would but it also didn't turn out bad i'd probably rate this like in 8 8.5 and the last album that we recreated was the thank you next album which is her latest album her fifth album and i think this one's probably my favorite that we recreated just because the look is freaking iconic like the look in this album is so amazing and so cool and so just like out of the blue for ariana the outfit i just took a black tank top and then took the straps down because that's how she has hers in the album as well and then i of course i have my ponytail extension i did do eyeliner for this look and then of course we have the black lipstick and then of course the iconic thank you next written across the chest and let me tell you that was such a hard step to do like that was just that was so freaking hard i'm pretty happy with how this turned out like the positioning of everything the outfit the makeup it just goes really 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 well together and somehow i edited and somehow i and somehow I edited this really well to look pretty close to the actual album. So I'd probably rate this like a nine. That was me recreating Ariana Grande's album covers. If you like this video, make sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you want me to make a recreating Ariana Grande's most famous or most liked instagram pictures also i want to do more like ariana themed videos because you know i'm just like so obsessed with her i'm such a big fan of her 
But yeah, so I want to do like more Ariana themed videos, so comment down below what kind of Ariana videos you want to see. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you more than you ever know. Make sure to give this video a like if you liked it. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click the bell so you never miss when I post. Make sure to always stay grateful, thankful, and positive, and I will see you guys next Monday. Bye guys!